welcome to January 6th, 2008, that we will call a Sunday. Well, now, let's get right over in to the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day six. Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the works of our hands. Psalms chapter 90 verse 17 Thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty, for it was perfect through thy comeliness, which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 14 We all with an open face behold him as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. The Spirit of glory of God rests upon us. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 14. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord and walketh in his ways, for thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Psalms 128, verses 1 and 2. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Philippians chapter 2 verses 12 and 13. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which has loved us, has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and works. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 16 and 17. The true believer, united in Christ, I am the vine and you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. John chapter 15 verse 5. Lord of the vine uh, vineyard, we adore that power and grace divine which plants our wild, our barren souls in Christ, the living vine. For ever there may I abide, and from that vital root be influenced, spread through every branch to form and feed the fruit. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of man, his, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. And brethren, do you fear God and keep his commandments? If not, and you do wish to change, get into your Bible and study his word. Get down on your knees and repent of the foolishness of not believing the Lord Jesus Christ and if you truly believe in your heart God the Father and Jesus Christ will answer and with that brethren I will close for today and God willing we will see you tomorrow bye for now <laughs>